This property brings in over 100K in income a year. So let's find out if the taxes, insurance, expenses, all of that makes it still worth it. And I don't want to waste a client's time by sending them properties that don't make sense. So at my brokerage, all of the agents and myself, we run numbers all day long for our clients to make sure that we're only sending them properties that will make them the best return. The average daily rate for this property is $350 a night, and that's very conservative. And with an 80% occupancy rate in this location, it's 80 to 90%, that's going to bring you to about $102,000 a year. They're asking $915,000 for the property. Like I said, it's $350 a night. That's going to bring you to $102,000. Then you're going to deduct taxes, which is $9,000, insurance, which is $4,000, pool maintenance, lawn maintenance, electric, and water. Because with the short term rental, you pay for all of the expenses. About $83,000 in net income, you're at a 9% cap rate, which is really, really good. However, if you do hire a management company to manage this property, it's gonna take about 15% out of your net income. They do take it off of the top management companies. They take it from the gross income. So that's about $15,000 in management expenses, which would put you at a 7.4% cap rate. In South Florida, your average equity gain is around 15%. So it could gain over $130,000 every year that you own the property. So when you go to sell it, you're looking at potentially selling for $1.6 million after gaining that equity. This property specifically has a lot of new development around it. So I'd say it's a sure bet to gain that equity. And I think it's worth it for a 9% cap rate. What do you think in the comments? And follow for more real estate investing tips from your favorite real estate broker. Bye.